Hey guys, welcome to the newest episode of BlizzPlanet.com's Week of Warcraft. Let's get straight into that weekly news roundup. Here's the beef. So we've got a lot of information about the patch 5.1 in the public test realms, okay? So it has gone live. PTR has gone live with patch 5.1, and you can go and test it out. Now, a word of warning here, okay? Uh, there's some issue with some people who have the beta for Miss of Pandaria. Uh, see, there seems to be some trouble copying uh, characters over to the PTR because, for one, the beta is still listed in your account, and two, they're for some reason not letting you remove the Miss of Pandaria beta, even though you can't play it, and obviously the actual game is out now. Uh, both Eldorian and Medieval Dragon have run into this bug, so they have yet to be able to actually go in and play the public test realm and get some actual preview footage for you to check out. So that's why that hasn't happened yet. Uh, but we're going to talk about some more changes that were not in the initial preview, okay? So first off, if you're a warlock, you're going to love this, particularly if you have spec yourself toward the destruction talent tree, okay? You're getting a new ability called Cataclysm. Now, what this will do, it's going to channel catas cataclysmic power emulating all enemies within 10 yards, okay? Now, after four seconds, all burning enemies that are within 10 yards are knocked away and stunned for five seconds. Now check this out. The channeling cannot be stopped, and the warlock cannot be slain until it completes. And so to quote Eldorian, seriously, what the fuckity fuck, this is insane. That's, he told me to say that, really. I guess I could have opted out, but why would I? Uh, now the warlocks are also getting a new glyph that's called Supernova. Now this makes it to where if you are killed, all enemies within zero yards, so immediate to you, uh, will take damage equal to 10% of your max health per burning ember held. So once again, to quote, what the fuck insane, right? This is some really crazy powers buffs that they're adding to the warlock, especially if you're under that destruction uh, skill tree. Uh, now hunters are also getting a few new things too, okay? The abilities barrage, steady shot, and cobra shot can now be used while you're moving. Yay for hunters. I know that's been a big thing for a long time. Uh, those with the engineering profession, you will now get the ability to make water gliding jets. Now these attached to your belt allow you to walk on water or swim quickly for 12 seconds. Now there is a 30 second cooldown between usages of that. Uh, now more information, okay, right. World event for the holiday, Dark Moon Fair is beginning and there's a bunch of new stuff for this year's Dark Moon Fair. Uh, new tents are opening, new items are available, new daily quests with some new factions. Primarily, you've got Operation Shield Wall for the Alliance and Dominance Offensive for the Horde. Uh, now, each faction gets a whole bunch of new story. We're not going to get really deep into what all of those stories are, but we'll just, you know, hit some highlights here. Uh, you can learn what happened to Vol'jin. Uh, you can find out what Garrosh is up to. Uh, you can find out what the Horde steal from Darnassus. You can also get some info if you play some of these uh, daily quests on uh, where King Varian is and what Ascend Anduin is up to right now. Uh, so lots of stuff. Lots and just tons and tons of new changes coming down with this patch 5.1 in the PTR. It's so much, I mean, we, this is just the tip of the iceberg, the things that we're telling you about right now. There is so, so much more. And there is a link in the show notes right here to the actual patch note that detail everything that's coming out in this massive, massive update. So next, Hallow's End is beginning this week, obviously. And there's lots of trick-or-treating going to be going on in Azeroth as a, a result of that. And of course, players working towards various achievements and items. Now, the Headless Horseman boss is back. He's now upgraded with le level 470 gear, so be ready for that one. Uh, so you only got a few weeks to get a shot at him, to take him down, try and get some cool gear such as rings, a real nice uh, plate helmet, and a one-handed physical DPS sword. All those things are things that the Headless Horseman can drop. And of course, I know what you really want to try to get from him is that very rare uh, Headless Horseman mount drop. That's, that's what everybody's really going after. Now, I want to remind you about some things outside of World of Warcraft. That is Extra Life. Eldorian is taking part in the Extra Life charity. For those not familiar with it, it's 24 hours of gaming. He's going to be live streaming it October 20th, starting at 8 a.m. He's going to go till 8 a.m. on the 21st, at which point he will completely pass out from exhaustion. Uh, but during that time, he's going to play, you know, some World of Warcraft, some maybe some Heart of the Swarm beta, some Diablo 3, all kinds of stuff, and raise money for charity. He's going to go to local children's hospitals. Uh, so you can go and, and check that out. But before the event kicks off on Saturday, okay, if you go to donate five bucks, there's a link on blizzplanet.com right now. For every five dollars you get right now, you will get two entries 
for this awesome Steel Series Legendary Mouse. Okay, now once the event starts, every $5 will get you one entry into a drawing for that item. And he's also going to have a few other giveaways that are going to go on throughout that 24-hour period, so it'll definitely be worthwhile to sit down, turn on your computer, pull up Twitch, and watch uh, Eldorian play his extra life, uh, 24 hours of extra life, and, and you know try to win some awesome, cool stuff and give money to a great charity. Uh, now, so far he's raised a little over $100. His goal is $500, so he's already at 20% of the way there, but still needs your help. So go and donate some money, it goes to a great cause, and he will be playing video games to the point of exhaustion this Saturday, bleeding over into Sunday. So, we've got some giveaway winners, okay? We had a couple of really awesome giveaways the last couple weeks. Now we're gonna announce winners for all of it, okay? First off, we had some Steel Series mouse pads, if you remember those, okay? So we had three of them. Now the winners are, drum roll, okay? For the one called Pandaren Emblem is Grand Mage. For the one called Panda Forest was Mr. Starium. I'm just pronouncing them, they may not be pronounceable. Uh, for Panda Monk, it was Slipknot uh, 2K4. And then finally, we had the Winged Guardian Mount that we were giving away, and that one is going to Cecilia Bell. So you will get messages, emails, whatever, from the show uh, very shortly uh, to let you know, you know that you've won, get your information, and get all that stuff sorted out. So thanks, everybody, for participating, throwing down some comments, throwing us some extra subscriptions, and uh, you know, looking forward to the next giveaways. Now we'll end, as we like to do frequently, with some questions, okay? More details about 5.1 are emerging. It's just so much there. Uh, what are your thoughts so far? Are you excited? Uh, do you, are you already bored with what's currently out there and you're, you're really just waiting for more? Are you, are, or are you more like Eldorian, who he's just so overwhelmed with all the new content with Mr. Pandaria and 5.1 that he's still you know, just trying to dig through it all and, you know, new content, pff, who's got time for new content, right? So let us know what you think. Throw it down in the comments. And, of course, while you're on YouTube, why don't you go check out the Bearded Gamer Show? You know, this fantastic mug talking about all kinds of video gamey things. And go to blizzplanet.com. All the news, reviews, fantastic community, everything you need to know about Blizzard Entertainment games. We'll see you guys next time.